designers frequently reuse existing garment designs as a starting point for creating new ones. To change their designs, they manually edit 2D patterns. The edits must take into account both garment shape and physics. We propose a new framework that allows designers to directly apply the changes they envision in 3D space. We then automatically compute 2D patterns that recreate this target garment shape when draped around the input mannequin using physical simulation. Our framework allows users to effortlessly mix existing garment designs and adjust their fit and length. Our edits follow the user-specified changes while preserving the key style characteristics of the input garment, proportionality, fit, and shape. Proportionality describes the relative location of garment elements such as seams or hems with respect to the wearer's body. Shape encodes normal orientation across the garment surface, and fit encodes the distance between the garment and the wearer's body. Style preservation cannot be achieved with traditional mesh deformation techniques. Our deformation framework explicitly accounts for style criteria generating the desired 3D outputs. Here is another example. While our 3D editor produces garments with desirable shapes, using them for simulation or manufacturing requires patterns. Simply unfolding the garments along seams using standard parameterization, as done by previous 3D editing or modeling methods, ignores physical forces. A garment generated by stitching and draping such unfolded panels onto the original mannequin typically looks quite different from the target. To solve this problem, we develop a pattern adjustment technique that produces 2D patterns that, when draped around the mannequin, recreate the desired target shape. To generate these patterns, we use a fixed point optimization scheme that compensates for the deformation due to the physical forces affecting the drape. We demonstrate a range of edited and re-simulated garments which conform with designer expectations. Our method is independent of the underlying simulation tool used. We test it with a mass spring setup. As well as a finite element simulator. In all cases, the models re-simulated with R patterns closely replicated the target geometry. On this example, garments generated with flattening-based methods fall to the ground of both simulators. We validate our approach via expert and amateur critique by measuring the house dwarf distance between our target and re-simulated models, and by creating a real garment from our output. For more information, please see the paper. Thanks to our pattern generation algorithm, we can directly animate the created garment. Thank you for watching.